guys welcome back um at this point you should have just finished up your blue mottling layer and have baked her or him and um is and you should be ready for your next layer um what you're going to do now is do another flesh layer just like the first flesh layer that we did and then you're going to want to bake it and then come back and we're ready to do the creases so i'll bake i'll put my flesh layer on and and bake and and come back and do all that off camera but i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna knock out two layers here so do your flesh layer bake it then come back and we're gonna do some creases so if you have your crease paint from bountiful baby that's great okay I'm going to show you how to mix them up here. And I'm also going to show you guys how to mix up some crease paint if you do not have the crease paint from Bountiful Baby or you don't have anything for your creases. Okay. So, let's start out with our crease. Our mixture for our crease paint. And you're going, you're going to want to add two or three drops of thinner. And you are going to want to mix this paint really dark. And I'll show you why here in just a second. Go ahead and tell you and then you can see as we're going the reason we're mixing this dark is because what we put onto the baby is not what's going to stay on the baby our key to creases is uh, blending that's why a lot of people don't like this crease paint is because they see this color and they think that this is what's going to be in their creases and that's just not that's not true when this crease paint is actually uh, blended out it makes the perfect crease color and I'll just show you that here in just a second and we're going to want enough color that it's going to go on first try we're not having to go back over and back over and back over it If you don't feel comfortable using paint this dark, you don't have to. You can go back over and over and over if you want. But there, that's the color that you're looking for. Okay. And also, if you made your, if you on your blue uh, modeling layer, if you feel that your color got too dark. And you're just not happy with it you can also add um, an extra skin layer if you want or two extra skin layers if you want just to kind of drown that out a bit and blend it in so I'm going to show you first here with the uh, crease mixture that we've mixed up Let me start with a deeper crease right here. And as you can see, it's still not even that dark going on, even though our paint is really dark. I'm going to do is I'm going to give that a little time to dry 
just a couple of minutes while I mix up this other crease paint. Okay, so if you do not have the crease paint, I'm going to show you how to mix some crease paint. Grab you a couple of drops of thinners. Grab your purple, your lip blush and nail color, your vein blue, and your warm blush. Okay. is not clean well. Look at that. Hmm. I'm going to get back in there. Toss it into my dirty brushes. Sorry about that, guys. Try this again. Brush tip full. Just to add a spot more. Just a touch of warm blush, okay? You're looking for about that much. Just enough to kind of dampen the tip of your brush. in the blue to cool down the, the colors, okay, to give it just that hint we're looking for. So just about as much as the one blush. stick with the um, crease mixture from Bountiful Baby for this tutorial. Okay, so let's check out our little crease. I hope you guys can see this. Okay, grab whatever you're um, blending with. You can 
go ahead and start blending that out. Darken it up just a bit so you guys can see it better. As you can see, I hope you can see that. It's pretty light. I'm going to darken it up just a bit more. And some people love using um, the um, thinning medium. For creases. And I guess because it gives you a lot of pigment and not a lot of dinner. So you gotta keep these creases, in my opinion, you gotta keep the paint thick to get it to apply the amount of color that you're wanting. But I've tried before the, using the dinner medium and I just prefer the dinner because what I found with the thinning medium is it made it so loose that it would it would just go away like if you touched it it would just disappear so I didn't like that I liked you know if I accidentally touch it it's not gonna wipe all my work away even you know even though it's not cured it should still stay when you touch it. Here's my brush. Sorry guys, I'm really scatterbrained today for some reason. Okay, there we go. Let's put in the color that we need. And it, it's going to take you a long time to do creases, I'm just going to tell you. I mean, it still takes me, after all this time, it still takes me sometimes two or three hours. Sometimes less, if there's not, you know, a lot of creases and everything works as it should. But, it can take a long time. Then we'll go in with my blender. And you can use whatever you're using to blend with. around my creases when you got where I don't want it okay and as you can see it's given that let me move over into the light a little better and see if you can see better it's given that really nice crease color just what you're looking for okay it does not look like this ugly purple mixture that you start with. Oops. 
and it's one of the components in the paint um, that makes it come out just perfect. So Bountiful Baby does know what they're doing here in this case. Okay. And if you haven't drilled your nose, make sure you get inside your nose. All your eye creases. And just anywhere that you see that you need to crease on your doll. And don't worry if you get too much paint. You can blend it out. And just remember, um, the deeper creases are going to be darker. The more shallow creases, of course, are lighter. Make sure you keep that in mind when you're blending. I mean, you can try to keep it in mind when you're applying, but I think it's a little easier just to blend it lighter than having to worry about how much paint you're putting here and there. And don't worry if it dries, it's still it's still just as blendable. Make sure I get in my nose really good here. Cause this is one of the areas you want shaded really well. You can put just a little here, if you've got a little crease here at the side of your nose. Okay, and then when you get all your creases done, Make sure you blend them all out, and then it'll be time to bake. And then you do the same thing on your on your limbs. You want to make sure you get all your creases, just everywhere. Anywhere you see a crease, that's where your crease paint's going to go. Okay, in the bend of your elbow. Crease right here. You can also make shadows with your crease paint. If you see something that needs to be shadowed, you can use your crease paint to do that. Creases can be very. That's the word I'm looking for. Tedious, time consuming, aggravating. It can be a whole lot of things. Okay. 
it does get a little easier with practice, but it's still a pain in the neck sometimes, so. All right, guys, um, I'll let you go ahead and get all your creases done and get those blended out and then get your kit bait and come back and we will um, start with video four. I'm sorry, video five. All right, guys, good luck. See you soon. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would, please give me a like and share with your friends. I'd also love to have you as a, as a subscriber. Have a great day.